Hey folks, Will Owen here with JetBoatPilot.com. Today we're at the Tampa Bay Boat Show with Cycle Springs Power Sports and we're here to show you the all new Glastron GTS 187. You know, at Jet Boat Pilot we're all about talking about jet boats and the merits of jet boat ownership, some of the reasons why they're so popular today. And so today I want to go through some of the reasons why this Glastron GTS 187 is going to be a major player in, this, in today's jet boat market. So follow me with the camera real quick here. I'm going to show you a few things to start. When we talk about jet boats, there are several things that are major influences on people's decision making to buy a jet boat. Follow me with the camera quick here, I'll show you for starters. With a jet boat, you get a, uh, a jet pump system obviously with a pump and a, and a directional nozzle that uh, you drive the boat uh, with the flow of the water. We sell people it's like driving a giant garden hose. Uh, and with that, you get a very simple system, meaning that there's no uh, moving parts back here uh, lubrication points, mechanicals, things that you have to winterize, things that are very uh, complex in nature. A jet drive is very simple. You simply have a crankshaft inside the motor, turning a shaft back with the impeller, which goes directly to linear power. So there's really a lot of simplicity involved, and that translates into uh, more reliability, longer lifespan, and lower cost of ownership for you and your family. That's one of the major benefits of owning a jet boat. Further, if you notice, there's no exposed impeller or propeller back here, which means there's less chance of you obviously uh, injuring someone in the water that might come into contact with a prop. Also, less chance of you damaging a prop by dragging it on the bottom, another major benefit of owning a jet boat. Also, too, if you'll notice, because there's no lower unit hanging down beneath the keel, you'll also be able to get into tighter spaces, a shallower draft, no chance of really running across rocks or uh, stumps or things that might be under the water line. That gives you peace of mind as an owner, especially when you're in areas where you really don't know where you're at or you're not familiar with the bottom. Uh, we also like to talk about because of the linear power on a jet boat, you don't have a lower unit hanging down beneath the boat, which causes the bow to rise when you get on the gas. With a jet boat, you simply just jump up on plane and off you go. There's no, no loss of contact with the horizon as you accelerate from zero to plane speed. It's another major benefit of the jet boat. If you'll follow me with the camera real quick here too, I want to show you another uh, real big advantage here. Uh, because jet boats use wave runner engines, uh, the modern jet boats, they use small wave runner or sea -Doo type engines. And since those motors are so small and compact, it gives the designers a lot more flexibility in what they can do back here in the stern area. Today, one of the major things that's driving uh, the kind of the marine design or the jet boat design is the swim platform. And you'll notice that Glastron has done a great job because from the factory level, you get a, a couple of really nice cushions. This becomes a lounge area for you to sit and enjoy uh, time with your family, especially if you're at the island or at the beach. Uh, also, to you notice you've got swim platforms here uh, with nice anti-skid traction matting. It's got a nice upgraded look. To so moving into the cockpit area on the Glastron GTS-187, one of the things I want to point out really quickly here is you have easy access into the cockpit and also back out to the swim platform. If you notice how low this little step over here is, obviously you're not going to be stepping on any cushions, getting into the boat and getting out of the boat. That's one of the features that's really great about this boat. The center cushion, if you notice here, is actually removable. So we can take this cushion, plug it in place, and if we need to get it out of the way for ingress or egress, you can obviously do that. Your engine hatch is here, so you have easy access to your engine. Uh, one of the nice things about a Glastron is you get three different engine choices. So you can choose between a 150, 200, or 250 horsepower packages, with the 250 being a supercharged. So uh, depending on your budget and obviously what you enjoy doing, you can have some choices there. All Glastron jet boats are powered by Sea-Doo or Bombardier Rotax engines. Uh, these motors were prevalent back when Sea-Doo was making jet boats. Now Sea-Doo has really kind of focused their attention on making personal watercraft and are selling their personal watercraft engines into the jet boat market. So Glastron has utilized that particular power plant to use in their boat. So I want to talk about that now. If you'll come in with the camera real quick here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Sea-Doo uh, Bombardier Rotax. Uh, makes three different types of motor. They're all based off of the uh, personal watercraft engine that goes into their CD watercraft, uh, one of the best selling personal watercraft on the planet. And these engines are uh, tried and tested. Uh, they have uh, been around for a long time, so there's really no concern about the 
uh, the power plant itself. Well, what we want to talk about with the Bombardier with the Rotax motor is uh, they utilize a uh, open loop, or excuse me, a closed loop cooling system. What that means is that if you're operating this boat in saltwater conditions, you're going to be uh, using uh, fresh water inside the motor at all times. It does not suck up water and circulate it through the engine. Now you're still going to be sucking up uh, salt water through your exhaust system, so you're still going to require, be required to flush the boat after you've used it, but your engine components are going to be utilizing a uh, closed loop cooling system and the, the way that that works just to give you a quick explanation on the bottom of the boat on the ride plate which is just beneath the impeller there is a heat exchanger and there is a, a fluid exchange from the engine back to that heat exchanger constantly basically taking the temperature of the motor, the, the heat in the motor, and exchanging that with that ride plate on that nice cool water that's down below, obviously bringing that back into the motor. And that's the way they achieve the cooling for the engine, but it keeps that nice fresh water inside the boat. That's one of the advantages that we'd like to talk about with the uh, Rotax powered engines, is that you simply have that closed loop cooling system. We also have access to our uh, fuel compartment here for mechanical. Clean lines. Glastron badges, built-in stereo system, charger for your cell phone or whatever you need to charge, also your hookup for your iPod or any other sort of auxiliary jack. You also get flip-up bolsters if you want to sit on top and look over the top of the windshield or sit beneath and look through the windshield. These will also rotate and they'll also slide. You also have options like snap-in carpet. You'll notice that in the floor here, you have a ski locker. Features around the helm, you'll find tilt steering. Up on the dash, you'll notice you have a horn switch. You have a blower. This is going to evacuate any sort of fumes out of the engine compartment before you start the engine. It's a good safety protocol. You get your bilge switch. So this is going to be a bilge in case you get water in the engine compartment, you want to pump it overboard. On the other side here you have your key location, you have your courtesy lock, lights, your dock lights, and also your navigation lights. So a real simple gauge cluster. Up on the dash panel here you'll also notice you've got a multifunction gauge here. This is going to demonstrate key information for you as you toggle through that. On the GTS 187, it comes equipped with a powder coated wakeboard tower. And if you're out boating one day and you come into an area where there is a low bridge, you may have to lower that tower to get underneath the bridge. One of the things I like about the Glastron this year is that they've gone to a uh, really simple tower deployment uh, system. If you follow me with the camera real quick here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. On either side of the tower base, down here at the bottom, there are two little set screws here. Once you unscrew these screws, the tower will drop and it's connected by a cable on the end. And that's going to limit the travel all the way forward so it's not banging into your windshield. But it's easy to deploy the tower down and then back up again. You also get a folding windshield, so if you notice here on the windshield we've got these little tabs. You fold the windshield shut and flip your tabs. This will keep the wind off if you're out on a cold day or if it's raining. We'll also move into the bow real quick here. On the GTS 187 we notice you've got a bow filler cushion, that's an option. You also get cup holders in the bow, lots of room. I stand about six foot tall, so when I step up in the bow here, You'll notice that I have room to stretch out with my legs all the way out. My knees are not bent. So decent room in the bow. Well, folks, that about rounds it out for today. This has been the GTS 187 from Glastron. If you have any additional questions about the Glastron GTS 187, contact your local Glastron dealer. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, you can see Cycle Springs Power Sports in Clearwater. We thank you for watching today. We hope this video has been helpful. Thanks. Have a great day.